glow And though our old patchwork is stained I cut the bullshit questions And stop straining my sight There was nothing wrong with you at all When I put you in a different light Is ever recorded. No one knows the stories other than us. Yeah, the trouble is, we've worked out at lunch today that most of the stories that we know are probably not valid for public comment. <laughs> no. We know some knitters. And some crocheters. And some crocheters, yes. And um, they had a lot of helpers, and then one Friday night, boom, there it was, all up. Everything, even the statue, had a scarf and a hat to warm her up. The police actually turned up. Yes. Um, but that was more because they'd come down to Lipson Street because they couldn't work out why there were so many people in Lipson Street. Because there's normally no one there at night. Right. Every haircut that I do is the absolute best that I can do. You know, like I can be in a shopping centre and look at someone's back hairline and say, that's my haircut over there. <laughs> <laughs> Russell up there is a relatively new client. Russell's been coming for about 10 years, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the fact that you can, everyone looks out for each other in a way. I've crashed my car and they've helped fix it for me and things like that just because I served him in the pub. And yeah, it's a big little family that goes on in the port. I fit in at the port. <laughs> I can walk around with no shoes on and don't get judged. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best part of the port. You can wear your track. Yeah, yeah that's the so funny. They want to be able to out. A doctor walked into my, my ward at 8 o'clock in the morning, followed her arms, looked down the length of the bed, and said, Good morning, Mr. Goodfellow. My name's Dr. Lula. I'm here to tell you you've got cancer. You've got one to five years to live. Do you have any questions? <laughs> and I thought, You fucking cold bitch. And I thought, I thought I couldn't have heard you that promptly. I said, I beg your pardon. She repeated and I said, fuck off. She said, don't you speak to me like that. I said, fucking don't you speak to me like that. Maybe about 10 years ago, I had this woman in for a haircut and she said to me, do you remember being in a fight with a woman at Woodville Oval about 15 years ago? I said, yeah, that bloody woman. I got arrested over that. She said, that's me. <laughs> and she's still a client. <laughs>